to update to you. So my problem I got today is a furnace that the 5KW heater strips, there's two of them. There's two of them. They sit on top of each other. The when you ohm them out, you get nothing. But if you chase it down, so if you start at one end, see right there? You only get half of it. Got it right there? You got nothing right there. Because it's broke right here. Broke right there. And then on this one, um, you get I've got charge all the way through but right here the resistors burn up so I have to replace the whole freaking coil I think I might be able to replace just a resistor on this one but on this one I gotta replace the whole coil so that's the project we're gonna work on right now before we get started today let's pray about this Heavenly Father thank you for this day Father God, I pray for everybody that's watching this video. I pray that they be blessed by the, the work that I do. I pray that they be inspired to do something new, something that they don't know how to do. I pray that you would remove any fear of the unknown and bless them with knowledge this day. In Yeshua's name. Let's get to work, guys. These heaters, uh, you can get these electric coil replacement kits. They're uh, kind of pain in the rear. Comes with a resistor. So for the other one over there, you just put this resistor in that. But I have never done this. So it looks like it comes with everything you need. End caps for the ends. Um, so we just tear it apart and put it back together the way we found it, <laughs> basically. Except for see how tightly wound that is, that's not. So you have to kind of stretch it out as you go. Like I said, I have never done this before. So I think you gotta, no oh, wait a minute. These threaded rods come out, well that's cool. All right, so it's got the threaded end on it. I don't have to make that solder fitting. Cool, so we will get to playing with this. This should be fun.
when it's said and done It's okay, baby, nothing really lasts forever But now let's run towards the sun Think it'd be better if you All right, so what I ended up, what I, I got ahead of myself at the end, I stretched it all out and then tried to weave it through. But what it did is I ended up stretching a little too much. But as long as your coil is not touching anything like metal, um, I know here on the end, this goes back in a groove. So I got to watch about sticking out too far. Actually, I think I'm out just a hair. So... I can pull it in just a little bit. I just don't want to get too close to this because then that'll shut it down. So I might be all right on this. <laughs> like I said, I've never done this before. I know the concept of it, as you can see, but I've never done it before. Try on air, guys, try on air. I know I can push it and pull it back in. You just don't want it touching any metal. And that's what these little glass shards are for, or these little glass rings are for. And that's to keep it from touching the metal itself. So, as long as I don't touch any metal, because this will heat up just like a stove oven, you know, or a stove coil. I think he called me an eye. So, let's try to stretch that back down. Get it back in there a little bit. So, you can see about how this is how it's supposed to look like ish so hopefully this is good now is all we gotta do is replace this um, and the other one uh, the eye it has a little eyeball that sticks out that little well you saw it so I had to drill that hole out a little bit for it so on this one here it's just the resistor is bad on it and it looks like I can just bend it around. I can put it around the metal. There we go. Just to pop for a reason. So I'm going to go ahead and um, switch out this coil too. Alright, so I meant this one is actually a lot easier than that one was. <laughs> you know, trial and error, you know what I'm saying? As long as your coil is not touching metal, you're pretty, you're pretty good on that. Um, I'll do double check make sure everything's correct um, tomorrow I'm gonna work on cleaning this nasty freaking thing up wow that's freaking disgusting man and uh, this is uh, the reason why I think that she was why it burned up and I got a wiring diagram you know I'm gonna peel that off real slow like let's we'll see if I can get that off well, actually I'll just take a picture of it take a picture of it because um, you can't find these wiring diagrams cool beans so tomorrow we'll get in here and we'll uh, pull this blower out and clean it up real good and I also have to clean her coil because her coil coils just absolutely freaking filthy but something to do bro that apartment that was in today doing the mudding on the ceiling around the vent that's the power came on so so all I got to do on that is just sand down and uh, Dan, Don's going to paint. So he's already got it painted, almost all of it. So cool beans, bro. We'll see you tomorrow, bro.